getting in here and this is my small room they're bringing me back and then they're gonna get um david to come back in a little bit so actually i'm about to get dressed to show you guys a little bit how my room is before um i go back so i'm getting ready to get undressed and let them prep me for surgery hey guys if you don't mind if you all will bow your heads by why I go into prayer before we enter into the surgery right now. So here we go. Are we ready? <laughs> you all done. <laughs> that was quick. Oh yeah. Mm hmm They knock you out? Yeah. Woke you up? He said it went well. Did he talk to you? No, I haven't seen it. What's that? I have not seen Dr. Dabuti. Oh, okay. He said everything went well. Great. Mm -hmm. Are you smoking with him? Yeah. When did you talk to him? About an hour ago. How long have I been out? About an hour and since the surgery, an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> I feel tight. Yeah, you're tight. You got you wrapped up. Okay, Jim and Steve, I'm sorry. I was so, I'm just tired. Like, what? Just tired. <laughs> I know you are. I can feel the pressure. Yep. Yeah. You need some chapstick? Yes, Daddy. Okay, hold on. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Diana, Black Candy. And today is my day three um, post-op for my tummy tuck. Um, so if you guys see that, that's why I'm hunched over. I usually walk a little bit lower than this right here, but I'm trying to hold myself up um, so that I can give you guys an update on myself. I'm feeling okay. This morning I was kind of lightheaded, but I needed to get some fluid in me and get some more protein, so I did that. So I've been okay. Even today I wasn't um, I wasn't in any pain where I had to take any of my pain medications, my oxycodone, um, uh, other words, Percocet. So I don't like how that makes me feel, but anyway, I was able to go today without taking it. Um, I did take some um, Tylenol for. Um, some cramps. I've had so much help guys. So so much help from with my family and my kids I've had an abundance of help uh, here with um, My sister is a nurse and she drove up five hours just to make sure I was changed and everything was straight Can't thank her and her husband enough. I mean she came and just took care of everything just re bandaged everything took care of everything um, my kids have been just outstanding I couldn't imagine my kids taking care of me the way that uh, they did. Even, you know, my teenage girls, Ariel, came home from college. Um, Kira jumped in, you know, like helping me with my baths. Well, you know, my bird baths, not baths, because this will be your baths right here, these sinks. And um, 
I mean, just to wash my body. I mean, like, just to go in anywhere. Mom, where you want me to wash you? I mean, I would have never thought that, you know, when it comes to, like, your private parts and stuff, you think that, hey, your kid's going to let you do that yourself, which I did. But my kids were ready, open, and willing just to help with anything. When I say anything, they are there, sleeping there with me, everything, David. So, but anyway, I'm thankful for them. So anyway, I want to tell you guys about my update. Um, I had my tummy tuck surgery on last Friday, which is March the 27th. My time moved like three times from 2 p.m. to 1 p.m. Then they called and asked, can I get there by 11? Um, I got there. My surgery was... Um, a little over an hour. Um, I don't think it was an hour. And um, so anyway, I had uh, a full tummy tuck and liposuction. Um, you guys can see I'm still swollen. And when I walk, I do what the doctor says. I walk all the way down there, bench hunch down. So anyway, I'm a lot swollen, as you guys know. Um, I have this on. This right here is actually a towel thing that goes over your shoulder when you get out of the shower but I didn't want my drains and all this stuff to be showing like that in this video you guys might get to see it a little bit but you know I want to give you guys respect and not showing you guys all of that um not just yet so anywho um I have liposuction I'm gonna show you guys I had liposuction right up in here let me try to zoom in this is a new camera so I had liposuction right here. Oh, let me see. Right here. Then I also had it on my thighs. I'm going to show you this. And, um, well, not my thighs, on my butt. So if you guys can see here, I'm going to show you. Uh, somebody said they want to see my bathroom set up. You guys can see I'm purple there. I had a little bit of uh, fat that was right there and the doctor wanted me to have like the perfect roundness. But my butt has been an issue for um, this garment that he gave me. And the garment actually started cutting into my side. Not only that... Um, it started cutting in me so much that some of the old stretch marks that I still had that was saved, they blistered up and the blisters were like extremely, extremely big. So we had to get the real big maxi pads to actually go around my sides. And um, I'm going to show you guys because now when my sides and stuff go in, my butt comes way out on the sides. I'm trying not to show y'all that. Well, anyway, this comes in. Here is. Wait, shit, hold on. Okay, so here's how I go. This is this garment, right? And the garment was actually cutting into my sides here because now I'm like really slim and my butt and my hips now go out far. I'm here and then I go out here and you can see how my butt goes away from my body I mean I have I'm swollen but my waist is like extremely extremely small um, I'm happy so far from what I have and what I'm seeing and oh I think I just was recording over the damn mic part shit don't know but anywho I'm doing great and let me guys let me tell you guys about uh, the walker some on YouTube say, hey, you don't need a walker. You don't need a lot of these things or whatever. Guys, do what works best for you. I needed a walker. The walker relieves a lot off of my back. And um, hold on for a second. Okay. So the walker relieves a lot of pressure off of my back. And... Um, I'll tell you guys, a walker has been a lifesaver for me. My walker, I paid $6 for it from the Goodwill. And um, I went and got me some $2.38 uh, 
uh, tennis balls from Walmart and put them on the back so I can slide across the floor. Works perfect. I also got me a tray that I ordered um, to so I can put food or something like that on. It works amazing, guys. Just get you a list. Do what works best for you. Look at these different tummy tuck prep videos. Pick different things out of it that you might like. Another lifesaver that has been for me. And like I said, I was going to do a, um, a video of my setup because somebody asked me about what's my setup like in my bathroom. I'm, I have my downstairs half bath. It's very, very small. But I have taken over it. And But hey, everything's worked for me. I had originally got me a, um, a toilet stool riser from... The Goodwill. Yes, I said the Goodwill. And it's plastic. I bleached it down. I bleached it down. It's perfectly fine. And then I went back to the Goodwill the other day. And they had another one with handles on it. And that one was $3.28. I brought it home. I put bleach all over it. And scrubbed it down. And that worked perfect. And so that's what helped me. And show you what it looks like. This is it. When I say perfect... Perfect with the handles and that I can sit on it. Um, with and then originally I had bought this. You guys see that one? I had bought that one originally, but then I got this one that locked into place with the handles on it, and that works perfect. You guys know I'm about a bargain. It was up to my husband. He would have been having a cow saying buy it brand new, but hey. It's okay, you know, for me to save a, a buck or two, but I am doing uh, great. I don't know how much they took off. Um, I'll know, um, I think this coming Wednesday when they get my OR reports. Um, but yeah, I'm doing okay. Today's my day three post-op and I walk with my walker. I take my, my vitamins and I'm doing great. I can't wait till I see everything else so far for what I've seen. When my sister took everything off, it was great. Um... My, I have two um, drains and they're draining fine, trying to keep them up under 30 for 24 hours and it has been that way for like two days now. So this is just my update. I got to sit down guys. I'm getting very, very tired, but I'm going to keep you guys uh, posted on what's going on with me and what I'm doing. Make sure you guys go out and check out my video. This is my seasons for some of you guys just stopping by. Um, thank you guys for stopping by for all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I am sharing my journey and showing you guys where I come from, where I'm going and what I'm doing because there's plenty more for me to come because I feel as if God has something in store for me that I need to be sharing and I'm open and I'm willing uh, to do just what he says. So um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for being on this journey um, and uh, I guess I'll be talking to you guys in a little bit okay i'll talk to you guys later make sure you guys hit subscribe i love you guys Mwah. bye